Hi friends, this is Angelica. Thanks for joining me here on the Greetery YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making these adorable plants and planters using products from the Greetery's new Urban Jungle collection. This collection will be in the shop tomorrow, June 9th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to start first with the modern planters. This eight piece die set die cuts two pots, two stands and two saucers. There is an assembly guide included. I've already inked the pots off screen with Distress Oxide inks and now I'm inking the stands. The four-legged stand will be um, in the back so I'm going to ink it with a darker ink. I picked Walnut Stain and then I'll ink the other pieces with Brushed Corduroy. The stand dies also emboss wood grains onto your paper, so using ink really helps highlight those wood grains. To assemble the stand, I started by gluing the pot to the four-legged stand. I added glue to, I added just a little bit of glue to the back of the stand and then a little line of glue at the bottom of the pot. And then I'm going to take the two-legged stand and glue that on top of the pot, making sure that I'm lining up the legs correctly. Now the pot is sitting inside the stand and the last step that we have to do is just put on the front leg. The two leg stand, um, just put an extra layer of paper on uh, the planters. So I'm going to add a couple strips of cardstock to the back of the leg before I attach it. I'm gonna leave the middle part of the leg without the cardstock. And the reason why I'm doing this is because the two-legged stand just add another layer of paper, so I don't want there to be a little bump in the middle of the legs. So adding those two little strips helps lift it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna attach it to the planter with um, just a couple drops of glue. And for the last two pots, I'm just gonna glue the saucers that are in the die set to the bottom of the pots. I did ink them with ground espresso. And now that the planters are made, we need to fill them. So there are three planted dies. Um, there is the aloe plant and uh, silver dollar succulent die and then a spider plant. So the first two plants, I just took some green ink sponges and just um, inked up the paper really quickly. And now I'm gluing the pieces together. This is very self-explanatory. There are embossed lines in this aloe plant to show you where the, uh, the top layer pieces go. There are four pieces to glue onto the aloe plant. And then the next plant that we're gonna put together is the silver dollar succulent. And that also has four pieces to glue on top of the base. I again just used some ink sponges to add some color to the white cardstock and um, I made the base darker than the front pieces. The front pieces do, you can tell where they glue onto the succulent because they fit the little uh, leaves perfectly. The longer uh, front leaves fit the back base perfectly. And then the last plant is the spider plant and this is just a two-piece set again I inked it off screen and uh, glued the pieces together there is one piece that is a little lower the base is a little lower than the second piece so I put the lower base up front the pots have slits that are die cut on the top of them so it's easy to slide the pots into them or slide the plants into them so I uh, picked some plants to put in the pots and I backed them with um, purple tape. That's how I held them into place right now because I wasn't ready to commit to which plant I wanted in the saucers um, or in the uh, pots. So I uh, just used purple tape to hold them into place for now and I'm going to make sure that I have the right plants in the pots once I get the backgrounds made. And for the background, I'm going to use the new Wicker Weave stencil set to make um, some really colorful backgrounds. This is a three-piece stencil set. It does not have a panel guide on the stencil. It does. It can stencil a six by six um, panel of paper. 
I've already trimmed down my card panel and I'm going to use my Make Art Station to do all of my stenciling. And I pulled this out because I need all of the lines and the stencils to be straight on this panel. So I, I uh, put a piece of masking tape on the bottom panel or the bottom part of the panel because I want that to stay white. And then I positioned the first stencil over the panel and I put a piece of post-it note right at that corner, the top left corner, just so I know where to put the other two stencils. And I'm using Distress Oxide inks um, for the three stencils. I picked Tattered Rose, um, uh, Victoria Velvet, and Aged Mahogany for my color palette. The first two stencils will add the horizontal uh, weave onto the background and the third stencil adds the weave that goes up and down. So the, I did do that one the darkest. I followed the uh, stencil guide colors, um, just doing from light to dark. Once I take this last stencil off, you can see the beautiful wicker weave background and I'll remove the masking paper to show the white bottom. I want the pots to um, be sitting in the white area. I want it to look like the pots are sitting on a floor. So to break the wicker weave and white up, I added a small strip of coordinating cardstock to resemble a baseboard. And once again, I'm going to use the grid lines on the Make Art Station to make sure I glue the strips on or the strip on correctly. I used my paper trimmer to cut the edges so it was nice and flush with the uh, edge of the panel. And now we're going to move on to the sentiment. The new Way to Grow stamp set is full of plant themed punny sentiments. I picked I'm rooting for you for this card. I lined it up in the misty at the bottom of the panel. Uh, I stamped it with black ink and then added the plant above the sentiment with thin foam squares. I made two more cards using the same layout off screen. I just changed the colors when I did the background using the wicker weave stencil. And I also changed up the sentiments so you can see um, a couple more sentiments in this stamp set. I used salvage patina, peacock feathers, and unchartered mariner for this background. I added two plants and then stamped aloe there under the aloe plant. Um, I just think that uh, sentiment is so adorable. Uh, the second card I used antique linen, tea dye, and vintage photo for the background. So this finishes the introduction to the new Modern Planners and Plant It products. I think these plants are so adorable, especially the spider plant. I love how full it is. And the wicker weave stencil just makes such beautiful, bold backgrounds. There's still a lot to see over on the Greetery blog, so be sure to head over there to see all of the products that's going to be in the shop tomorrow. I want to thank you so much for joining me, and I want to thank the Greetery for letting me introduce these products to you. That's all that I have for now. Take care, friends.